It's more than just a football game and more than an in-state rivalry. It's now one of the largest football games between two historical black colleges in America. The Rattlers and Wildcats battled it out on the gridiron this weekend in Orlando at the Florida Classic. In the first quarter, the Wildcats built a 14-3 lead after back-to-back -back touchdown drives. Ryan Stanley talks about what could have been different in this important game. As a player, like to play in certain situations or formations that we play. And like I said, uh, we just, I, I didn't execute, we didn't execute. Both teams could use a victory to end the season, but only one could take home the 2016 Classic Champion Trophy. Jacquez Bryant talks about his last few moments being a Rattler on the field. You know, when the clock started going down, that's when it hit me. But, you know, I, it was great being a Rattler. Coach Alex Woods says that they gave up too many defensive plays, but he is ready to continue to build this program. We're going to prepare them for the, uh, wrapping up academically now, uh, athletically and medically right now, and then we go into uh, the winter phase of our program uh, from there. The Florida Classic is going on its 38th year since 1978, and the Rattlers look to increase their record next year as they go into their spring drills. The Florida Classic game was filled with friends, fans, and families as the Rattlers were defeated by the Wildcats 39-19. to Now the last game the Rattlers won in the Classic game was in 2010. Reporting live on the sideline, I'm Ashley Jackson for News 20 at 5.